Welcome back everyone to another Marvel dot, uh, Marvel Daily Snap video. I'm Gem Machine Esquire. Today we're going back to an old favorite. It's the Sarah Surfer deck. I'm going to describe the deck in a little later. We did want to thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and commenting. You guys are absolutely killing it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy the Sarah's, um Surfer content. As always, at the end of the video, we are going to tell you which cards you can mix and match uh, if you don't have all of the cards, because this does run some Sarah's 3, 4, and 5 cards. So please check that out. Stay all the way to the end. And as always, keep snapping. Welcome back everyone to another Marvel Daily Snap video, so I was just checking to make sure my mic was on. And today we are playing a Sarah Surfer deck, you can see above. We did play something similar recently, but I thought I'd give it another try. We are in a cube now mentality, we're trying to game as many cubes in as short amount of time as we have, because we haven't had too much time to play Marvel Snap recently. So it's important to keep that cube equity high. The problem with this deck is a lot of people know when they're beat by it, so sometimes you'll snap and they'll just leave. It's very easy to do the math of just adding six or three to all the cards in location. So sometimes uh, you will get a retreat. There's also some surprise plays in here with your rogues. Maybe you can storm a limbo, a uh, killmongering juggernaut. So there are definitely plays that this deck has that are surprising and can win you a lot of cubes. Speaking of winning, you guys have been crushing the channel and I've been winning by all the likes and comments and subscriptions. So please keep that up. You guys are killing it and I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get into game. We do have the tracker still going, right there. <clears throat> so very cool. I really do enjoy the tracker uh, from Untapped GG. It really makes a lot of things easier and uh, just kind of helps us out. And we have Maximus and Wolfbane and the starting deck and we have Shuri's Lab and Brood. So if we draw Surfer, this is probably a snap. Um, we have Killmonger, so I'm not actually too worried about these rocks. We'll be able to get rid of them next turn. We're gonna double up on our domino. I'm not, we don't wanna play Brood and Shuriks, only the first Brood gets doubled. So not really worth it. I think what I will do instead is play Killmonger. Bam. I'm gonna play Cosmo over here. Uh, oh god, that kind of hurts me though. Um, play Maximus over here. I don't know what deck they're playing. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Wolfsbane actually. Uh, cause Wolfsbane's gonna get to five and then double to ten. So this is a really powerful lane we have going. Okay, we're probably not fighting for that location. Uh, what we will do is play Sarah mid. And in a weird turn of events, I think what we're actually going to do, who reveals first? It's actually me. And we don't draw Surfer. So because we don't draw Surfer, I think this is our best play. Oh wait, no, it's definitely not because it's not gonna push enough power over here. The problem is we don't know what's over here. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then what do we do with our, I don't think they can beat us over here. So is this just better? I think it is. Let's go with that and we'll see what happens. Ooh, I think I still win that location though. I do. Maximus, who so doesn't get cards. No discard, no Ghost Rider for you! And we outplay Muhammad. Oh, that was awesome. Victory. Really, really cool stuff right there. And I'm just reasoning, one of our boxes is not picking up what it should, so we'll have to fix that. I actually don't know what that- There's my name, my name, the cubes. So what- what's missing from the- um... My name, my opponent's name, the amount of cubes on the line. I actually don't know what that fourth box is supposed to be. We'll find out later. <laughs> that was a great game though, hopefully we get to game two now. 
Uh, we are sitting at 86 uh, cubes, by the way, so not bad. We should make a Galactic by the end of the week, which was our uh, target goal. And again, this time we do draw our Surfer. By the way, we won our last game without Surfer, which is kind of impressive. Just we had the Cosmo outplay. We had a good idea. He was trying to pull something like that. Um... We don't have any move cards, so Kunlun's not very good for us. Um, and I hate New York, so I'm gonna storm New York. And I'm gonna play Domino to the right, and I think I'm gonna storm Brood mid. I think... Do I draw Sarah? It depends what... Ooh. I'm just gonna go ahead and play Brood out to the right here. Um, <laughs> this isn't optimal because he could have Shang Chi, and I could be fucked. But now I really have to get rid of New York. That's the prime thing we have to do. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do that now. I don't think we actually Sarah. Do we Sarah? I don't know. Wind aid my hand. Part of me just wants to max of us here. Actually, we juggernaut. And we hope juggernaut kicks one card over to the right there. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, that's so brutal, though. Oh, that feels terrible. So the question is, does he have... Ah, uh, Shang-Chi. And he doesn't, and he retreats. Victory. And we absolutely take our cubes. Oh, we need, no, we can actually move this over. Wow, I... It does seem like... Things got moved around a little bit, but that's okay. We'll work on it. It's a work in progress. That's another two cubes, and we're going to take it. So two games in a row, you can see the power of this game. And Juggernaut is such a huge um, card for this deck, and I'm, it was my last card I got. Uh, so stay tuned to the end of the video where we'll talk about different replacements and stuff like that that we can do. Killmonger, I mean, uh, Monster Island is not great for us, but it's not terrible. Neither is what are the odds? Atlantis. Uh, neither of these spark joy. <laughs> So, we're, but what we're going to do is we're going to storm Vibranium Mines. We're just not interested in it. Um, and because we have Juggernaut, we could play Juggernaut if it looks contended, uh, contentious. If not, um, do we have a good turn four or five learned up? So four is Juggernaut, five is... Wind, aid my hand. I don't know. We'll find out. He plays the hood. I'm gonna go ahead and Juggernaut here. I, that guarantees the win. Brood also probably does that. I don't feel super confident because I don't know what his deck is quite yet. Uh, the hood makes me think destruction, but if it's destruction, he hasn't played nearly enough cards. Um... Alright, so we're gonna kick those out. We'll see what happens. Oh, he's gonna kill his monster. Oh, that's so good for me. Oh, yeah, we're, we'll snap off that. We're gonna snap off that. That was beyond good. Um, and he has to retreat, yeah. And we had Killmonger for turn... <coughs> turn 6, too, to kill his demon. It also kills the hood, but it's still a net 4 positive gain for us. We have to snap off that play. We probably should have snapped beforehand, if I'm being honest. Um, I didn't expect it to be as good as it was when we hit their deathlock into Monster Island. Kind of crazy, uh, but really good. And now we're playing up against... I don't know what his name is. Oh, now, you know what? The turn appeared in the bottom corner, so that's good. Uh, well, we're skipping anyway, so that's not bad for us. I kind of love the animation. I just hate the location for the collapse mine. Kind of dumb. 
A bar with no name. Always lucky. I think we can win bar with no name with Storm. I'm feeling pretty confident. If I draw Surfer, it's a, it's a snap. Atlantis again. Um, I don't want to play Brood quite yet because... Um, it locks me out of a location. So I don't feel super comfortable there. Okay, Wasp. Let's see what he plays into. Doctor 2. Well, I'm winning bar with no name now. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Cosmo. Collapse mine. Oh, I could have Cosmoed bar with no name. Which would prevent him from storming it. But we're not going to do that. Um... So he's going to keep going. He does put Mjolnir in the deck. And in Baku, I love in Baku. This man is clearly... Oh my god! If only I had... What's it called? If only I had... Uh... I can't think of the word. Uh... When I go before him. Okay. So what can we do to win here? Oh, would have been a great card if Cosmo wasn't here. Um, we also don't have Surfer. I think we do play... Oh, we can't win this, right? Um, so there's that power and that power. Do we think four, five, six... Uh, what? No, it's just four. Four plus... We're up by three, so seven. Do we think seven's enough to win left? Is there anything I can steal with my rogue? No. Well, he hasn't snapped, so we'll give it a try. Is he storming mid? He might be. Honestly, that could have been worse. We'll see what this goes into. Oh my god, it's a Magneto. Well, that's a huge win for him. It took my cubes, and that's okay. Listen, it's important to show a loss every now and then, but we're going to play one more game for you guys. And if you do like this game, please drop a like and a subscription and a comment. It really does mean the world to me. It helps spread the channel around. Uh, this video is going to come out a little later than normal, so I do apologize. But Trash Panda 42 is going to help us out because he has the greatest name I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you, Trash Panda 42. Uh, he plays leader. Excellent. I'm going to draw some cards for him. Thank you, Sakar. We call that a Sakar difference, uh, where I'm from. <laughs> Alright, so we know he doesn't have leader anymore. Breaking news. White Queen. Okay. What are the odds? Uh, we're gonna drop, uh, we'll drop Domino, I think, right, in case this is, like, Sanctum Santorum or something. Lizard. Pretty easy to beat Lizard. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll go ahead and play out Brood here. Yep. Turn four. I think I also Mr. Fantastic here. This could be an interesting little game. If he has Leech, is that going to be a problem for me? Or does he skip here? He could skip and free up Collapse Mine. He does not. Okay, so Rogue is the draw we want. It is not the draw we get, however. So we're going to go ahead and play Sarah. Wow. Darkhawk and Leader, huh? If he wants to skip, now is the only turn he can do that. Uh, the best cards we can draw here are Surfer uh, or Rogue would be the best cards we could draw. 
A little tougher now with those rocks. Okay, we don't draw either of them. Which is tough. I think... I think we go for the win in Sakar, uh, but he can't hang with us. He doesn't think so. Now, he doesn't know this. Uh, the two cards I needed to win this game were Rogue or Surfer. Either one wins me the game. I didn't draw either, unfortunately. However, drawing Juggernaut uh, means he can't play in Sakara anymore. So I get three power. So that brings me to 16 and then Wolfsbane. So I'm going to knock his card into daily uh, Bugle. So I'm going to lose the Bugle. But unless he has a Killmonger and he can clear m the rocks on my side of the board, He's going to lose. So based on that, I felt pretty comfortable. This was the right play line. That's why I did it. Now what we're going to do is really quickly, guys, we're going to go back into the showing off the deck screen. And what was that? I think that was one loss in five games. So not bad. Four and one cube equity is okay. It wasn't great. I wasn't snapping perfectly because I'm on stream. And uh, on stream, I do not snap quite as good. Uh, this is the deck I'm running. You can check it out. The pool five cards that you guys may struggle having are Surfer, Rogue, Brute, uh, Juggernaut, Maximus, and Sarah. Those are the pool three end up cards. If you do not have those cards, which ones are irreplaceable? The deck is called Sarah Surfer. I'm going to give you a hint. Sarah Surfer, irreplaceable. Sarah you can in theory replace, but probably not worth playing. Um, every other card is replaceable. All you have to do is go into this screen right here. I think I did this in my previous video, but we'll do it again for you guys. Go to energy, go to three cost cards, find your favorite one, and lock it in. Uh, if you're replacing Maximus, I do recommend higher power cards. Something like a Thor that gets really strong, a Black Cat that gets really strong, a Swordmaster that's really strong, Polaris really strong, something like that. But any other card, like if you don't have Juggernaut, just plug in something like Groot or maybe uh, Thor or Polaris, whatever you want for that card. If you don't have Brood, you can't play the deck, I am sorry. Brood is 100% essential. Uh, but besides that, if you don't have another three cost, just plug and play. Uh, absolutely many of these three cost cards are quite good and can be used. I highly recommend checking out this deck. It's very consistent, very good. Top of the ladder for a reason. All right, guys, for now, I am Gem Machine Esquire. That's going to be my video. Thank you all for liking. Thank you all for subscribing. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Gem Machine Esquire keeps.